Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I'm going to give you a quick update on Google My Business. This is when Google thinks that there's a, a local intent, uh, and here I'm using my usual search for uh, Flores Brisbane, and you see four ads here and some Google My uh, Shopping over here, but then you see these three, uh, Petals and Gully Garden Florist and French Flowers, and these are all pulled from Google My Business. And to be able to be shown here is 100% free from Google. All you need to do is claim your listing on Google. And it's a fairly simple process. If you just put in google.com uh, stroke business, you'll end up on this page and it'll ask you to sign in and, and claim your business on, on Google. Um, and if you already have an account, this is where you go to manage your business, but you just log in to start now. It'll walk you through a process. You do need a street address, even if you're going to suppress it so that they have a place to mail your uh, verification code. Uh, it's a fairly simple process, but if you've got any problems, give me a call and I'm happy to help. So I actually normally approach this a different way. I just go on to Google Maps. So here I am on uh, google.com.au maps. And I just put in a street address or a business name. And chances are, 99 times out of 100, unless you're a new business, they'll already have you. So when I put in 19 Nariel Street, Albion, Queensland, it already knows that Aussie Web is at this location. And it pulls that data from white pages and or yellow pages and their own data collection and scraping and government databases. But here it is, and I didn't even have to put Aussie Web in. Uh, but it gives you some information here about our company. Uh, it gives you a street view opportunity. You can get directions. You can send the address information to your mobile phone. These are very powerful and useful. Gives you your hours of operations and whether you're noted, uh, whether you're open right now. Gives you reviews and comments. And, and I mean, that's pretty cool. And it's 100% free and it works really, really well. Uh, but there are some things that make these things successful or not. And I want to show you what they are. It's consistency in what we call the NAP, which is the name and address and the phone number. So if you're doing 19 Nariel ST Albion Queensland, always try to do it the same way so that Google can compare when it finds other information about you on the internet. Uh, make sure you get reviews. Not all of these are great, but at least they're, you know, the majority are good and reviews really matter. Um, and then there's a ways that you can also post some updates. And I'm going to show you that. But now in this case, I've logged into my account and, and this is the data that it provides me about my Google business. So Google Insights is really, really powerful. It gives you all sorts of useful stuff because it tells you that, you know, uh, the amount of people that went direct, right? And how many came from searches. That's pretty cool. How many listed on searches and listed on maps? So were they were searching for our name when we came up or they found us on maps and how they interacted with us. 13 went to the website, three requested directions, uh, the amount that called you, if it was a click to call, uh, driving directions, no things, here's two click to calls. So this is some of the information that's available when you're managing your account inside uh, Google here. It allows you to add additional photos. We've got five here. It allows you to give a virtual tour if you've done that. It allows you to manage your reviews. So we've got these reviews. By the way, you can't remove a negative review, but you can reply to it. And, and I've done that on some of these, so you can go have a look at that. But it gives you the opportunity to review, thank people that have, and to reply to those that, that, that are otherwise. Um, and one of the key things that's uh, very, very important on this page, uh, other than just managing your reviews, make sure you're complete, is you can go down here and share an update. Now, if you share updates, and I've just done one here, uh, and I say our relaunched website is both HTTPS, which means it's secure, and it's completely responsive design now, I just put that up today. Uh, and in fact, the new Aussie Web local search is uh, now 100% secure and responsive, uh, even from mobile phones. So if you post little bits of information here, Google will know you're working your Google My Business listing. They'll know that you've got reviews. Um, and if you've completed things with uh, uh, photos and other stuff, Google ranks all of this, looks at all of this, and it gives really powerful information for you. 100% free, uh, optimized for mobile devices, cost you nothing to do, and uh, you get free traffic. You saw it on our own insights. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, please ring our 1-300 number or fill out the form and I'll give you a call. 
but uh, Google My Business is one of the three ways to be found on the front page of Google. I've also got another video I did on uh, how to send an easy URL for people to write reviews on your Google My Business page. <coughs> That's below, and you can get to it from there as well. Happy to chat with you. Thanks for listening. Monty Hips, the Google Guru.